Inflation was already a problem even before the Ukraine war, as the PM mentioned, with COVID-19 and then the war impacting supply disruptions, among other factors naturally. The rise in the cost of living is top of many Singaporeans' minds. Terence, you mentioned uh, your work on such socio-economics issues. Um, anything about that speech that struck you in particular on yeah, this? I, I thought that the Prime Minister gave a very good recap of the multi-pronged approach which Singapore is taking. Um, that includes, of course, targeted help for households. That includes um, monetary policy, diversifying supplies and stockpiling. And very importantly, he also highlighted the only sustainable medium to longer term approach, which is to raise incomes through uh, more competitive businesses and through upskilling for workers. Grace, yourself? I think what I found also interesting was the reality check that the Prime Minister gave, which is that you know, these spiralling prices are not just about the war in Ukraine, but also um, just fundamental change in economic conditions in the world. So, you know, for example, slowing growth in China, the end of an era of you know, cheap production, cheap goods, and you know, things which we have become accustomed to, which we may now not have anymore. And I think he made a very frank acknowledgement, uh, and I quote here, it says, we have little influence over this global inflation picture. But by that same token, <coughs> We do have influence over the domestic picture, which Terence talked about. Um, for example, shoring up you know, our national defences, building up adequate stockpiles and essentials, as you mentioned, um, building nutritional self-sufficiency up to 30% by 2030. So, so that was the, the key takeaway for me.